Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> it's early. Just got out the shower about to I guess kind of show you the progress that I've made. We've been here for about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, and I didn't get a chance to record any of the removing of the furniture off like the U-Haul truck, which you seen in like the last video when we were loading in and leaving um to head to our new place but um i've made a lot of progress it's not complete nothing like that um so yeah i'm about to kind of like take you guys around the house and um and kind of go from there i do have some errands to run a little bit later i gotta go to target uh, for a pickup order walmart for a pickup order and then i need to go grocery shopping since i got a new refrigerator which i want to show you guys i wish i would have recorded this yesterday because these delivery guys were absolutely amazing five stars but anywho let's show you guys the new place so this is the master bathroom um it's pretty simple I like the fact that we still have the double sinks. I'm going to hang up those little things for our towels and stuff. And um, yeah, it's pretty spacious. There's like a window, um, the toilet area, the shower. I got that shower curtain from Walmart and then these new rugs from Walmart as well. That one and then these two. Um, I can say that I have a lot of storage in this particular house, but when it comes to the kitchen, I'll show y'all not too much. But yeah, I don't, I have not done too much, um, but I just put that stuff away in there. This is the room. I want to get a dresser for the TV um, so we can store all of our clothes in there. But that's the TV that was in the living room. Our bed is pretty much still the same. I do want to get a new comforter. Um, our little nightstands over there. Our closet is really big. I am going to do like a little closet makeover eventually, but this is kind of what it looks like. Um, it's not really organized or anything like that, <clears throat> but I do have most of my stuff up here. Um, I bought this from Ross, um, y'all, $8.99. Look how big it is. I want to try to find three more because the stuff that's in these bins, that's like my winter scarves. Those are swimsuits. And this is like um, workout and pajama stuff. But once we get like the big dresser, then I should be able to have it way more organized. But yeah, that's that. So one thing I really love is the floors in the living room. So here's how the living room looks. Super big. But yeah, like I said, it's not complete. Um, I still have this here. I don't know if I want to keep that there. Um, Y'all remember my living room furniture from the old place. But yeah, it's like a vinyl, I believe. Um, and then here's the bookcases. We are going to get a TV for the living room. And then eventually I'm going to hang up some of those pictures. I did get rid of a lot of pictures. Um, I bought this little ladder from dollar general for 18 bucks i love it and i'm gonna get like a little blanket there to cover that little piece um there's our rug still <laughs> it's still wrapped up and then my little vacuum but yeah the front room is super big i got that basket yeah that was at the old place but yeah everything is super super nice in here but yeah, we haven't been in here because I like to watch TV and stuff, but there is that. And then the kitchen is, well, the dining room area, I would say is bigger. Um, let me see. So this is what it looks like. I still have my table. I still have that rug. Still have the same trash can. But um, the kitchen, in my opinion, is a bit smaller. Um, as far as like the cabinet space and things like that. So I am going to get a chair to put right here in this area. I need to clean all of that up. Um, there are stainless steel appliances. I bought a refrigerator. Um, I absolutely love it. Let me show y'all. So I got it on bestbuy.com, 
um, and it's an 18.1 cubic feet. It does stick out quite a bit, but you know, we're renting, so, and it didn't come with a refrigerator, so that's fine. Um, but I did want a black or stainless steel refrigerator, and until I get my my home home, then the stainless steel go in. So, yeah, so it's super nice and big. I love it. It's way bigger than the other one some water and Gatorades in there since we have not had no cold anything y'all and then the freezer is pretty simple so yeah I love it it's super sleek I just got that up here y'all remember that in the kitchen and I bought that for my coffee because I'm going to do something different I don't know what I want to do yet but something different this right here I don't know what I'm doing with this particular area um, I still need to organize the cabinets and things like that. I think I could take out a shelf because these wine glasses will not fit like without a shelf being taken out. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, yeah, there's the microwave, <clears throat> dishwasher. Have my same rug from the last place, the sink. Um, and then, like I said, I still need to um, wrap everything. I need to wash all the dishes. That stuff, y'all remember. I bought that little cute plus sign the other day. Um, here is the laundry area right here. I keep thinking this is my old place and I want to like turn on the light, but it's not right there. It's right here. So yeah, the laundry little room right here. We're probably gonna do some um, organization of the cabinets and stuff like that. I can show y'all what I have right now. Um, it's not bad, um, but I don't like the setup, so I need to figure out another solution. So that's that. Um, we have a garage, super excited about that. It's a two car garage. So yeah, it's super big. My car is parked outside. And then I did a garage clean with me, but I didn't record it because it was just too hot that day and I didn't want to be bothered. But anywho, that is like every, I just can't believe that we were in a two bedroom town home before and we're in a three bedroom, three bath house and I had all that stuff at the other place. So I am still going through a lot of that stuff um, and seeing what we need and what we don't need. Okay. Um, I keep forgetting like what lights are at, what lights are what lights. Okay, the backyard, let me put on some shoes. I could just put on these socks. Where's the other sock? Right here, let me put these socks on real quick before I go outside. <sighs> Um, but yeah, the patio area is definitely not complete. Um, I sold, you know, a few things like I mentioned in the last video. Um, but yeah, the backyard, y'all, is so beautiful. It's so big. Make sure there's no flies out here. But yeah, here is the backyard. There's my patio set. I bought that new rug. My husband got a new grill. I still need to organize that stuff, but yeah, the backyard is huge. It goes all the way around the corner. So yeah. grocery store and it's huge it's a huge grocery haul y'all because we have not had groceries um like I mentioned in the beginning I had just bought a refrigerator because this particular place did not have a refrigerator so let's go ahead and get started like I'm literally starting from scratch this stuff was a little over $300 close to 300 because I also have to stop by Aldi um but I went ahead and got some mac and cheese I got some grits instant grits some Minute Maid orange juice, pulp free, cause that's the type of um, that my husband likes. 
um, almond milk, unsweetened. Don't get like the vanilla or anything like that, especially if you're trying to use it for like cereal and stuff. Um, Bush's baked beans. I like to add fresh bacon, brown sugar, a little bit of mustard, chopped onion, Heinz ketchup. I grew up on this log cabin syrup. It didn't have, well, at least I don't know if they had it when we were living at the old place um, in that particular area, but yes, this brought back memories. And then I got canned goods. These right here, y'all probably seen this in one of my Dollar Tree hauls, but the Ritz toasted chips, sour cream and onion, delicious. Got some Doritos, I got another bag of this, especially like working from home and stuff like that. I can go ahead and snack on those at my desk. Um, just got some chips. These are the ladies plain and then the mesquite barbecue. These right here are my favorite. Um, these teriyaki beef noodles. So, you know, if I just want to put something in my stomach and that doesn't require me to take a lot of time, then I usually just pop those in the microwave. Um, bought some cereal, mini wheats, frosted flakes, and Cheerios. Um, I stopped buying boxes of cereal because it just goes to waste. So, oh, I got all kinds of stuff back here. And I'm gonna turn the camera around because I got the rest of the um, the groceries on the other side. Cran pineapple. Yeah, y'all need to try this. Got two of these, literally delicious. Um, I got some more garlic powder. I got a green pepper and yellow onion. I have seen someone on um, Instagram. I'm pretty sure I got the right one, but this is the Starbucks iced coffee medium roast unsweetened. So, cause I have been buying too many, look at this y'all. Leave a comment down below if you go grocery shopping and you still stop and go grab me something to eat or drink. I just don't, I just don't get it, but I needed that coffee. Um, I am gonna show y'all what I got in Dollar Tree too. Let's, and then Rice Krispie Treats. Yes, some big old kids over here. Um, let me turn this around. Hopefully y'all can still um, hostess donuts, donuts. Let me come back over here. I don't like how the lighting looks right there. Whew, the struggle is real y'all. So hamburger buns, hope I'm still in frame. If not y'all, we just gonna go with the flow. I used to use these in college slash when I graduated. This bag and this brought back so many memories too. I'm like, what the heck? Um, these are for the toilet. I highly recommend these particular ones. They just keep it nice, clean, and fresh. I got some pecani sauce. I like mild. I got some Frego. The Garden Chunky Tomato, Onion, and Garlic. And then some tortillas, taco seasoning, thin spaghetti. I like thin spaghetti. I don't like the regular spaghetti. And then I don't like the angel hair pasta. I don't like it. Then I bought one of these little mini lasagnas for lunch. Um, the little ground beef. These are the only ones that I like. I got some bacon. And then I have never seen this sausage before, but it's Earl Campbell's original smoked sausage. I'm gonna use this in my little seafood boil. So yeah. Running out of room, y'all. And when I go to the grocery store, hopefully y'all can see me. When I go to the grocery store, I like to keep all my cold items together. Like I divide it for them instead of throwing everything on the conveyor belt. It just makes it easier. So like all my cold stuff is in the bags and all the meats and stuff like that. So anywho, some cooked shrimp, I mean some frozen shrimp, some cheese. 
I got some corn on the cob. I don't want those donuts to smash. Um, crinkle cut fries, my favorite. And then some crescent rolls. I felt like I was in Walmart for a long time. I don't know. Some more cereal. This, I highly um, recommend the Earth Balance Original. It is vegan. This is what I use for my seafood boils. I do not use like the regular butter because that's too much. Um, cream cheese. I really don't care about what brand of cream cheese I get. It all tastes the same to me in regards to that. And then some Activia. Yeah, okay, some Activia. It's got the probiotics and stuff like that. Okay. Okra. Okay, I got some House Blend Medium Bolt and Nutty Coffee. I have no coffee here, y'all. I have nothing. Y'all seen the, the empty refrigerator. Um, green beans. And then I got peas. Um, some Pop Tarts. Some snow crab legs. Some popcorn shrimp. I did get some White Castle burgers. My husband likes to eat these. I don't know if he wants the cheese or not cheese, but hopefully those are okay. And then we really love the Thomas bagels. They are a little more pricey, but you know, you get what you pay for. And then my other bag, oh, obviously I got eggs. Always check your eggs. Like you can always, you know, lift them up at the store, make sure they're not cracked or anything like that. Let's see y'all. Oh, and then I had a Target pickup order. I didn't realize that my Walmart actually had this, but highly recommend the non-dairy creamer, almond milk and oat milk, the caramel macchiato, highly recommend. Um, let's see, I could show y'all, let me show you guys this Aldi stuff. Y'all might not see a lot of meat, which is fine because I usually get the meat from all because in my opinion, I get more bang for my buck. So I got the family pack um, chicken legs, only $5.20. Like what? You can't beat that. And then I got some um, chicken wings. I bought some, um, a pork shoulder steak. And then I got some baby potatoes right here. All that, this stuff is coming from Aldi. And I, I bring my own bags too. I have my Aldi bags in there, but I knew I wasn't getting much. So yes, Aldi bags do, um, they do not provide you with bags, so they do cost if you want to get bags. So just keep that in mind. And then I got some crispy onions. I have mine on salad, but I wanted to try this. This cold pressed juice pick me up green. It has apple, pineapple, cucumber, kale, spinach, lemon, and ginger. So that was something new from there. So I'm excited to try that. And then they had some vitamin C shots right here. So I got four of them. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, like the kitchen is not together at all as far as like where I want to put stuff, but I'm just going to put stuff in like cabinets and everything and eventually once I tackle the kitchen and get it organized to my liking, then I will definitely show you all. This stuff right here came from, oh, and I forgot to show y'all, these, um, these fire, the kettle chips, the jalapeno. So good. And then this stuff came from the Dollar Tree. I do get some of my grocery products from the Dollar Tree, okay? Because it's 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 brand name. So even if it wasn't, it's okay. So the hint pineapple, I wanted to try that. I tried the watermelon kind before, but I wanted to try pineapple. 
They did not, at this particular Walmart, have Crystal's hot sauce. Do y'all like Crystal's hot sauce? Leave a comment down below. Like, what hot sauce do y'all like? But anyways, I settled with the uh, Louisiana. And then some soy sauce. All this is coming from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I didn't realize that they had the noodles, um, these at Walmart, but I ended up getting them from the Dollar Tree. But whatever, you can never have enough. And then I also like to get these as well. These little rice cooks, these are so good. So I got three of those. And then I don't, I'm not about to wash the white dishes. Um, so I got paper plates. I got these hot and cold cups. Were they hot cups? For cold, oh yes. For cold drinks. I thought it was for hot and cold drinks. Well, okay, that's fine. And I did buy some extra stuff as well, which I didn't need. Disposable shoe covers, like, do I really need them right now? You know, maybe. I, I might need them. And then this is my absolute favorite. Two pays the Crest 3D white. I always get my two pays from the Dollar Tree. I also ended up getting this um, detoxifying hydrating charcoal mask. Yes, they sell these at Target. And then I just got like a little exfoliating glove since when we moved, I had to do all that stuff away. I got some hand wipes for the car and then these highly recommend as well. These little foot treatment masks. And then just some Pepto. It's not real Pepto, you know, but you know, it's the stomach really in case, you know, you need it. And then I, so I went to Walmart inside, but then I also had a Walmart pickup. And this is the last thing y'all, like literally we had to like start from scratch, especially when you're moving. I know towards the end of us getting ready to move, I didn't go grocery shop. I tried to eat everything that was in the house, but I bought this um, body wash for my husband. It's the Sport Suave. I also want to try these out. These are dishwasher cleaners by Afresh. I like the um, laundry ones I bought, so I'm going to try these out for the dishwasher. I bought some Glade House Spray, the Crisp Waters. I think I had this out before, but I can't remember. And the last thing over here, my absolute favorite lotion, Lubriderm. This is the only lotion I use, and I do use fragrance free stuff. No, that's that's literally everything. Everything, everything, everything. Let me pick y'all up. So, yeah. So this is everything I got, of course. All the bags down here. Everything's off the table. And then, yeah, that's everything that I had went over and over here. So we are about to start putting everything in the refrigerator and the freezer. Um, and yeah, this cabinet I didn't show y'all earlier. I tried to, um, it's okay, but obviously I'm gonna give y'all an update on that, how I organize it, because it's really smaller compared to the other one that we had. Um, but yeah. So let me get all this stuff pulled away and then I'll show you guys what it turned out to look like.
very tired, but I am finished putting away the stuff in the kitchen. It's not perfect. I just need to get the groceries in the cabinets and eventually I am going to organize it um, and have some type of system um, because like I said, I don't know if I want the food over here or over there, but I'm about to flip the camera around and let y'all see. Okay, so this is where I put the stuff at. I had already did that part. I really like how that looks, but I just don't know if I wanna keep it in this particular cabinet. And then um, this is the rest of the stuff that was over here. Um, don't forget, I bought these at the Dollar Tree and that's how I keep my canned goods. Um, let me see. Yeah, maybe like that, I don't know. And then I don't know if I wanna keep that plastic stuff up there, I don't know. Um, I had leftover Rice Krispies because I put them in the clear bin. I put the um, grits in here because they had oatmeal. Um, the flowers back there, brown sugar. I don't know what I want to put in that one. And then of course you have your oatmeal, your rice, sugar. And then I just put some of the chips and stuff in here. Some of those pasta packets. Um, that stuff I already had. Most of this stuff I already had. I already had a, half of that stuff. I refills. And yeah, it doesn't even look like I got a lot of stuff, but it was a lot. So this is what it looks like for right now. I still got to get more stuff, but at least we got the basics. And then here's the refrigerator. I'm going to unpack that meat because I'm not going to freeze it all together because I'm not going to eat it all at once. So that's that. And then on the other side, I have the butters, that stuff, and then that. So yeah, y'all, that is it. So I'm about to get all these bags up put away all of this stuff and oh this particular thing I don't know if y'all have a Black Friday it's like a a discounted like store but anyways this was brand new and um yeah I put my coffee in here so that setup might be the coffee area but I I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one